What's your opinion on steam? Uh, of Steve? Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going through my head and thinking about all of the Steves I know, and I'm like, <laughs> what could I possibly say? Um, steam. I haven't used the system myself. Um, I have been asked by dozens and dozens and dozens of people to use it, uh, usually with a promise that if I do use it, I will make thousands and thousands of dollars very, very quickly and easily. When I get that kind of sales pitch, I start getting very suspicious. Um, I don't like the way that instead of focusing on quality of content and things like that, and building community organically, a lot of the pitch I hear from people who are interested in Steam seems to revolve around the idea that if you use it, you can make a lot of money fast. That's always a red flag for me. Now, that may be a misunderstanding of its potential, and in fact, it may be a fantastically visionary system. I've looked at all of these. I think there is a very interesting set of parameters that make the combination of social media, micropayments, and kind of behavioral incentives and disincentives around producing good content and not being a trollish asshole. Um, those parameters come together and make for some very interesting platform. If uh, every time somebody wanted to say something nasty about me on Reddit, they had to put down a 25 cents deposit. And if the community voted that they were being a troll, I got the 25 cents. Now that would be a get rich quick scheme <laughs> for me. <laughs> so um, you know, I'm very interested in, in kind of the both the social aspects, but really not using money as a system of remuneration, but using money as a system of kind of quality discovery through systems of incentives that are backed by game theoretical models at scale, wisdom of the crowd plus micropayments, plus behavioral science, equals fewer trolls. That is fascinating to me. Um, and I know that Steam is aiming to do that, among other things, as I should probably mention uh, yours. and There's a bunch of others. I, I, I can't remember all of them right now. This is an emergent area, and I think we're going to see a lot of innovation. Now, keep in mind, social media platforms require a very high density of adoption before they're effective. There's a reason why Facebook didn't happen in 1995, right? And it's not because nobody had come up with the idea. Um, it's because you need that critical density where you know enough people, and these people already have access to the underlying infrastructure and are willing to engage in it, so that it starts becoming useful. And even then, it's a very difficult bootstrap. Bootstrapping social media in digital currencies, where you have a very limited community that is really just talking to each other, I think is going to be difficult for the next decade. But very promising. Again, it's one of those things that will experiment and fail and experiment and fail and build momentum and build momentum, and then one day you'll be like, oh, this is kind of almost as useful as Facebook. Oh, look. A week has passed, and now it's ten times more useful than Facebook, and then it goes vertical. 